Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived together. As time went by, the three little brothers started getting bigger and bigger. One day, their mother told them that it was time for them to go out into the world, explore it, and build their own houses. Before they left, she gave them some advice. She told them to be hardworking and always take their work seriously if they wanted to succeed in life and not have any problems. The little pigs, eager to start their new adventures, packed all their bags, hugged their mother, and were off on their way. Soon after they left, they came across a wonderful meadow in the forest, and it was full of flowers. The little pigs forgot why they had left home and started playing in the grass without a care in the world while enjoying the sunny summer days. But after a while, the weather started to get colder. We should go out and build our house. Winter isn't here yet. Let's just play now. When the time comes, I'll build a shelter myself. Your choice. I don't want to get caught outside in the snow. The middle pig and the youngest one continued to jump and play without giving it a second thought. One morning, the two pigs noticed a layer of ice appeared. So they started to build their houses, each one the way they thought best. <laughs> I'll build a house made out of straws. It's faster and I don't feel like working too much. And that's how they did it. By noon, the youngest pig's house was ready. Listen, I'll build a house made of sticks. And by sunset, I'll be done working on it. The house made of sticks was also ready in a matter of hours. Let's go see if our oldest brother already finished building his house. Let's go! <laughs> the two little pigs ran and found their brother still working tirelessly on his soon-to-be home. It was made of stone and bricks. It had windows, shutters, and doors made from hard wood. <laughs> what are you building here? A fortress? That's how a real house should be, like a fortress. But why? Are you afraid of something? We're all afraid of the big bad wolf. <laughs> Coward, you're afraid of the wolf. <laughs> Meanwhile, the oldest pig continued to work hard to make his house perfect. His brothers then left and went on to play in the forest, huh? squealing <laughs> happily. <laughs> hmm. Where is this noise coming from? The wolf started looking and eventually found the little pigs. Our oldest brother's a fool, you know that? Why would he be afraid of wolves when there aren't any around? And even if there were, so what? And we can fight any wolf that dares to cross our path, you know? Neither of them had ever seen a real wolf in their lives. All of a sudden, from behind a tree, the big bad wolf jumped in front of them. <laughs> his eyes were glowing like embers, and his huge fangs were coming out of his foaming mouth. No! Oh. Run! Help! Help! The youngest pig was the first to reach his house, made of straws. He went in and closed the door behind him. Open up! Open up! If you don't let me in, I'll just blow your house down! <gasps> As the wolf blew three times, the youngest pig's house walls fell apart as if a hurricane had passed. Help! The youngest pig managed to escape and then ran to his middle brother's house. Wonderful. Even better. Now I'll get to eat both of you. And the wolf started Ooh. huffing and puffing again. The house made of sticks was more resistant so he had to blow a few more times. <laughs> the 
But eventually, the second house also came tumbling down. So the two little pigs had to run as fast as they could to their oldest brother's house to ask for help. Please open the door! It's us! Come on, quickly! Nothing can reach us here. We're safe. My house is strong because it's made of brick. Who is it? Open up! I don't think so. I'll eat all three of you! <sighs> No matter how hard the wolf huffed and puffed, the house didn't even move. When the wolf was about to give up, he saw the chimney up on the roof and had an idea on how to get in. Aha! I'll get you, little pigs. You're in trouble now. <gasps> What's that sound? Why is there soot on the lid of the pot? You'll see it a bit. <laughs> And just like that, the wolf fell right into the little pig's steaming pot and was caught by surprise. He barely made it out, but after he jumped and went up the chimney, he started running deep into the forest, and no one heard from him ever again. After that, the little pigs lived together safely and happily in their sturdy brick house, and they always remembered what their mother had said. You need to work hard the right way to build something strong and useful, because if you want something that can be long-lasting, it is going to take a lot of effort and hard work. Yeah.